All right, so now that you're pros on using the addition and multiplication properties of equality, we're going to use them together today. So to solve some equations, you may have to do both of them. So I've got several examples here. Uh, it's nothing new, but it's just putting those two um, skills together to solve equations. So this equation is 3x plus 4 equals 12. I mean, sorry. Let's start that over. 3x plus 4 equals 13. Um, if you notice, first thing I need to do is um, take 4 away from both sides. And it's the same as saying adding a negative 4. So I'm going to, so I'm subtracting 4 from both sides. And when I do that, now my 3x equals 9. Remember, whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. Now, since this is 3 is multiplied by x, I need to get rid of my 3. And in order to do that, I can say either that I'm multiplying it by 1 third, or I can just say I'm dividing by 3. So if you divide 3x by 3 and 9 by 3, now you have x by itself, and it equals 3. And I showed my checks over here. Um, I remember back in high school, I always did this because I wanted to get everything correct. Um, and if you check this and it turns out right, you've, you solved the equation correctly. But if you didn't, you've got a mistake and you can go back and see what you did wrong over here. So I do highly encourage you to check these and put what you find for your variable into the equation and see if it works out. I know it takes a little more time, but it's better to get it right than wrong. Now, I have not checked the rest of these because I do know they are correct, just because I'm me. But you should probably check them when you do your own work. All right, I've got number two. I've got negative 5x plus 6 equals 16. Um, I notice I have this one multiplied with my variable, but this one's by itself. So if I can take away 6 from both sides, Again, that's the same as adding a negative 6. I will now have negative 5x equals 10. And since these are multiplied by each other, I can multiply it by its reciprocal, which is negative 1 fifths, to get it equal to 1x. Same as dividing by a negative 5. You can think of that the same way. And dividing a 10 by a negative 5 and you're left with x equals t negative 2. Now you've got it by itself. And if you put that into the equation, negative 2 times negative 5 is 10, positive 10, plus 6 is 16. So I know I got that correct. Here, this time I need to collect like terms before I do anything else because I have a 6x plus a 2x equals 15. So I'm going to collect my like terms. I have 8x over here equals 15. And uh, since these are multiplied together, I need to multiply by the reciprocal to get it equal to just 1x by itself, which is the same, again, I say, as dividing by 8. Divide each side by 8. What you do to one side, remember, got to do it to the other side or they're going to be felt left out and start crying or something. You don't want that to happen. So, x now equals 15 over 8. So that is our answer to number 3. Number 4, we have, it's a little bit longer here. Golly, it's really long. I need to scroll back up. So we've got a 2 times 2y plus 3, all that in parentheses, equals 14. So I notice I'm going to have to distribute first before I do anything else. So I'm going to distribute my 2 across. So I have 4y plus 2 times 3 is 6 equals 14. These are multiplied together, but my 6 is by itself. So I can add a negative 6 to each side, which is the same as saying take away 6. So now 4y equals 8. Since these are multiplied now, I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal, which is 1 fourth, or the same as dividing by 4. It's equal to the same thing. Divide both sides by 4, and so y equals 2. 
I could do a quick check on that one. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 3 is 7. 7 times 2 is 14, so I got that one correct. So that was our next to last problem. We've got one more. This one we have to do a little bit more. When you look at the original problem right up here, you notice this is being multiplied by all this in parentheses, so I need to distribute it first. So I end up with 12x minus 8. Here's where we got to make sure we get the correct signage in front of all of our numbers. Plus 12x equals 40. Now I've got some like terms I need to put together. So I need to collect those together. So now I have 24x take away 8 equals 40. These are multiplied, but this is not as by alone by itself, so it's a negative 8, so I'm going to add an 8 to both sides to get that to equal 0, get my 8 out of negative 8 out of the way. Now it's over here. So 24x equals 48, and since this is multiplied, I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal, or if you would like to say, divide by 24. You can say it both ways. This way will just help you when you're dealing with fractions up in here. It will help you see what you need to do. So when you divide by 24, x equals 2. So we had a little bit more to do in this problem and sometimes you will. So you need to take a look at the problem first to see what all needs to be done before you start doing any um, of the addition or multiplication properties of equality. You may have to distribute, you may have to collect like terms. So we'll be doing work like this the next several days. Thank you very much.